Hello guys and welcome to our next uh, video tutorial about using Python Async IO and uh, OpenCV mm. for solving real world problem. In the previous video uh, we have added uh, some async support to our project and uh, now it's time to continue with this. And uh, The core problem with uh, our project is that we are grabbing the frames and it's lagging uh, if we apply some blocking code and the simplest way uh, to fix this is the idea come up uh, to my brain uh, uh, actually to add some more async keywords in, in uh, the all sorts of our functions. So if we add this async uh, def run face detection, so make this run face detection function asynchronous, uh, will it fix the core problem? Oh no. So let's just dig into and do some uh, code change also so let's go to the main pi so we have added this async to the uh, run face detection and in the main pi side uh, I want to show uh, the first attempt uh, using the asynchronous tasks and let's see uh, so I have task 1 async IO create task and uh, add this now. Um, oops, add this timestamp sync to the task, and then task two, and add this create task. This face detection creates face uh, create task from this face detection sync, and let's just uh, await uh, the async IO gather gather with our tasks so task one and task two let's just comment out this code and uh, what we have yeah that's it let's test so we, we made this face detection asynchronous we have created uh, f f the task from this uh, face detection async function and add this, uh, add this uh, to the gather uh, in order to run in a concurrent manner. So let's test. Let's test if it, oops, if it will work or not. So nice. And um, so. <laughs> As you see, when we have added this async keyword to the blocking code, and uh, here, it will not fix the core problem because we are still doing some bunch of things. Uh, this, uh, these things are CPU intensive, and this is I/O, so we mix this the problem. So we are using the CPU bound problem and this time slip is a blocking IO also. So uh, basically adding this again, adding this uh, async uh, async keywords uh, to our code will not uh, fix the core problem. Uh, but we have a second attempt, so we can change this uh, face detection and uh, adding timestamp, extract this to the own function. Let's just shut down this. Um, container and let's see yeah and start to make change so I'm going to add uh, an extra async function run face detection and time it will accept a frame and uh, here I'm going to add just copy and paste here. Um, nice. And just call async IO sleep some amount of time. And here, uh, await this uh, run if the time and pass the frame. Pass the frame directly here. So Again, the question is that we have extracted 
We have added, uh, we make this run face detection blocking code asynchronous by applying the async keyword. We are creating the task and gathering them and then uh, uh, simulating some IO waiting with uh, async IO sleep. And sh sh uh, so will it also fix the core problem? I don't know, let's just, let's just run and test it again. Um, nice. Let's see. So from the at, from the beginning that it's clear that no, so it's also not uh, not working. It's not going to fix like this camera leak. This uh, mm, eliminating the blocking part and showing the frame to the user in a real time manner. So so basically what I want to show you uh, with Playing around with async KO is iterative process. You can make a change and test, and also read uh, the documentation uh, of the async IO. And uh, so, I'm uh, the my aim. My aim uh, here is to show that when you are making a change, it cannot work, uh, but. Uh, by making changes iteratively and uh, trying to understand what kind of problem the async IO solving will help you uh, to achieve the best from this um, you know, from this light, from this uh, asynchronous techniques. So that's it for this video, and uh, we are going to continue applying uh, the asynchronous uh, code change to our project. Uh, for solving our core problem. So eliminating this lag is our uh, core problem. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.